Hi guys. So you're probably tabled out like I am, but I wanted to show you really quickly um, how I am going to do the centerpiece. I've been excited to see, um, see it all finished and I know that you guys are too and I thought rather than just doing it and sending a picture over here, I would show you how I'm going to do it. So let me tip you down here. Here's the table, all done and I'm so happy with it. And yes, my husband liked it, <laughs> so I did finally drag him in to see what he thought and he liked it for those of you that were wondering. And so now what I'm gonna do is put down a scarf. Um, these scarves are in my Amazon shop. If you guys have shopped my Amazon shop before, let's see, I'm gonna do this first. So I'm going to put that down first and I'm not gonna do this up for Christmas yet. I'm just, I don't know why, I'm just not, I'm ready, but I'm not ready <laughs> for Christmas. So I'm just gonna do an everyday tablescape for you. Um, I ordered these, when I ordered the dough bowls for restock for our website, they sent me these huge ones. Um, I didn't call them the same thing that they call them. So I've got all kinds of different dough bowls that are gonna be going online. These will only go to local people because they are super heavy and super big. So um, there's that. Uh, I found this when I was shopping up in Amish country and I just thought it was super, it was so ugly it was cool, right? And it looked really real. I got a straggler back here. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna figure out where I wanna put that. I kinda have a lump there. Let's see here. I, okay, I kinda have it in my mind how I want it to be. I have this old scale that I have already gotten decorated. I, I just moved it from another room. So it's just an old balance scale. And then I put my um, glass button ball that I made and then some of the broken um, uh, English pottery um, the, that was dug up, uh, unearthed they call it. Um, so I'm gonna put that in there. And then I have some books. I definitely have to always work in some books of some kind. So I have some books and then, um, I love, I love candles. So these are also on my Amazon, um, on my Amazon link for my favorite things. So there's three sizes, small, medium, and large. And I really want that, uh, I'm putting the medium up high and I'm putting the low or the, the large and small down here. Um, let me see here. Okay, I can lean this. I have another piece of uh, broken, you know, when it's been through the water and in the mud, and then when someone's digging, they tend to break. Um, so I have some broken pieces that I bought from the fella, um, the English guy at um, Springfield that we found way back and kind of in a hidden spot. And this, oh, I'm sorry, this was just a little thing we made on here uh, with a door plate. So I'm gonna put that on there. Okay, and then um, I have a couple of bottles that I made with you guys also. Um, my friend Julie says you can't get rid of anything that you make, and it's true. It's really hard to get rid of the things that you make. So I found these really cute little faucets, and I've had them up on my shelf, but I feel like you can't see the faucet part up. I want to look down on them, so I thought I would incorporate those in here. Now, I don't like how he is sitting. There we go. Okay, so I have that. And then, of course, I always put in a little bit of greenery. Um, I have this old wood wheel, if you guys remember that I found that uh, in Amish country when we were shopping. I'm not sure exactly, but I think. I'm gonna lean that into the candles to soften the candles up just a little bit. Um, they're pretty shiny. And then I have this old doorknob that I've had forever and it's just a one side, it's like a, I don't know if that's a locking mechanism or what, but I've always liked this doorknob. It's one that I've never put on my site because I've always, I've always kept it because it's so unusual and you guys know I'm always sharing doorknobs with you. Um, and then, oh, let me see here, let me put in, um, first I've got some, a box full of the, um, the split peas, or not split peas, um, what are these? Uh, black eyed peas, black eyed peas. I'm hoping there's enough. This is a big bowl. <laughs> I'm hoping there's enough. Okay, 
because I always like to break, I always like to break the bowl. I don't like to look, not break the bowl, but I don't, I don't like to look down in and see the bowl. I want to see the things in the bowl. So I always tell you to put something in the bottom of your bowl, um, whether it's buttons or, or beans like this, something to uh, accentuate what's in the bowl and not what is, um, not the bowl, the bottom of the bowl. I, I don't like seeing the bottom of the bowl. It's my little thing. And so this was several bags that I bought and I've just had them. Um, I think they're my favorite because they have that little pop of black. Oh yeah, I have just enough. Just a little couple little spots of greenery, I think. Let's see here. Just to add a little bit of fluff, you know, I like the greenery. Let's see here. Let's put a little pick over here. Just a little teeny piece. I just grabbed a couple of pieces. And there we go. Oh, and then let me flip on the light. There we go. Dim this one down a little bit, maybe. So you guys can see and then I'll take you off of here and give you let me spin you around let's see how do I do that hi <laughs> let me see how I spin you around okay here we go and here you go so we have the the newly painted table which you can still see some of the you know some of the table and then I may need to pull this in just a bit and push it in and then there is the finished look. So, um, yeah, so it's an interesting, um, pretty display. Oh, there's Abby. Hi, honey. That's my daughter. She's in California. Yeah, so I painted the dining room table, honey. Look how good it turned out. There you go. So there's what the dining room will look like when you come home to visit. <laughs> and I do have to change it out for Christmas and I will show you guys as I do each little section um, but I just thought I thought you guys might want to see the finished um, the finished look in the dining room so here we go there it is so I have my chairs all done and I never liked like the, the, the I don't know the keystone or whatever it was in inside of here and I don't know I was just bored of it gosh we've had it over 30 some years 35 years I think we've had this table <laughs> so I finally decided to paint it change it up with the chairs just to give it a new look because I was tired of it and w there was no need to go buy another one this one you know a table always works it just was getting yucky so anyway oh I'm so happy with it and um, I wish I had my glasses I <laughs> once again I don't have my glasses um, let me see here I need to push my drawer shut and I thought I would show you like here's all of the dough bowls that I got in so I'll be putting those on our website soon um, I'm waiting on him to tell me the price I didn't get the invoice so I don't know what I have in shipping and then here's just a little teeny tiny one these are my favorite um, I've got this one and let me show you the difference in the size <laughs> so there you go that's how big this one is so if anybody locally needs one I've got two left um, so there you go. <laughs> so, all right, let me see if I can uh, read your comments here. I hate holding the phone, it's wiggly, and I know that, I hate that. Um, let me see, I guess I could walk out and get my glasses. Let's see, hi, honey, there's Abby saying hello, and I missed it. I never look at the comments. I'm always focused on what I'm trying to do until I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. That's all I have. I just thought I'd look back and see if there's any questions or comments. Abby likes it, that's awesome. Thank you, honey. Anybody else have any? I, I doubt there's any questions. It's pretty self-explanatory, wasn't it? Thank you, honey. She loves it. Well, Abby's my only commenter today. There we go. There's Margaret. Hi, Margaret from York, Pennsylvania. Margaret, you're not too far from me. I'm in Ohio. I uh, can't believe you were a lot. Well, I kind of just did it, Abby. 
<laughs> so kind of just did it. There's Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Thank you. Thank you. And there's my mom. And she's telling Abby that she loves it too. And Jessica loves it. Thanks, Jess. She was here for some of it. Um, she's my friend that paints with me. Hey, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you. So cute. It wasn't the best dining set. No, it wasn't. Oh, good. Thanks, honey. No, it wasn't. I really had crafted on it and really trashed it out for sure. I kind of made a mess. So thank you. Thanks, Rita. Oh, you've been watching me too. Thanks, Beth. I'm glad you guys like how it turned out. Um, you love the table. It has really come together, Jill. You're absolutely right. There's Penny. Thank oh, Penny, thank you. Um, you know, it was just kind of a I couldn't hurt it. It was only paint, right? And it was just, I had that in my head, and so I thought I'd go for it. Hey, thanks, Julie. So if any of you haven't seen this and you wanna look back and see what the heck the big deal is, there are, if you look on my page, Tammy Loves Vintage, and you scroll, you know, you keep pushing the, the things up, the posts and things, you'll find there's three different videos. Um, I'll be doing a blog post, so we'll probably share that here where we put it all together with videos and still shots. Um, so I've got to work on that. Um, okay, Lisa, I will let you know. Um, I'm thinking the, the, the great big ones, um, the great big ones were, uh, uh, I'm trying to think. I know how much three of them are. The great big ones were $60, $59.99. So if you're interested, um, let me know. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Mary Beth. Thank you for saying hi. Uh, oh, good. I'm glad you like it. Yes, Sharon, we're Ohio neighbors. That's right. That's right. And there's, um, I can't. I, I'm, I'm like trying to get the sun out of my eyes. The sun is not in my eyes. Famia, what a pretty name. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, you want to do it with your table? Well, Margaret, go for it. It was so it was so easy. And honestly, you saw it the first go round, and it was very pretty just like that. So, um, yes, get a hold of me for sure. Um, good morning, Carol. So again, here you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off of here, but but yeah, um, if you just do the first go round with it, you don't have to add the boards and all of that. It looked very nice, just like it was. So here you go. Here's the finished table. You can kind of see my boards that I fakely put in there. And then um, I dressed it up for every day. And I'll leave it like this until I start doing some Christmas decor. I'll probably do this room last since this looks so nice like it is. It'll last me a while for sure. So thank you guys all for watching. Thanks for your love with this project. Um, I sure needed your support. There's a couple times where I thought, oh, I don't know. But it turned out great, and I'm so happy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, you guys. <laughs> Bye.